What's up guys, Josh from Extreme Truck and Auto. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about my top three favorite rolling bed covers that we sell here at Extreme. So this cover right here is my number three on my personal list. This is the Truck Cover USA rolling bed cover. A couple of things I really like about the cover is this is one of the more sturdy covers out here on the market. So it's gonna be a little bit more secure when it's in the locked position. A couple of things that I don't like about this cover is one, this cover is the most expensive. Two, there's four drain tubes. It's not your typical half inch to three quarter inch hole that you have to drill. It is nearly a one inch hole in four different locations of the bed. Now, sometimes we can get away with tucking the hoses into pre-existing plastic pieces on the bed. They sit up towards the bulkhead. But for example, on like a Chevy or a GMC, these holes have to be drilled into the bed. One nice thing about the operation of this cover is that it is all done through the key. Um, so the way this cover functions is you actually insert the key and you twist it. Now, as the cover slides back, it will lock in three to four different positions depending on bed length. If you want the cover to come all the way open, you turn the key all the way to the open position and it'll slide all the way back. As soon as it gets back, it automatically resets. There's no letting it slide back into the canister cover or having to latch anything. <clears throat> like I said, three different positions. So that way, if you need to put two by fours or have something sticking out, but you wanna protect the rest of it, you have that ability. With these canister covers that kind of sit up like this, there's another cover I'm gonna show you here in a minute that has the same kind of style of canister. You can actually undo the screws that are either on top, this one's on top, or they'll be on the side, lift this off, and then clean any debris that gets under the cover out of it. There is a little bit of maintenance you have to do to these. You do need to lubricate the rail on this specific cover. I like to use a like 303 or a detailer because it doesn't cause a lot of buildup and it won't gum up the track over an extended period of time. When it comes to rolling covers, these are gonna be some of the most secure covers. Now, I will be honest with you, if somebody wants into your bed cover, they're gonna get into it. What it boils down to is how long it takes them to get into it. These covers, I've, I've had to break into a few of them because customers lost a key, you know, stuff happens. They do take a while to get into and you have to know what you're doing to get into them. So that is definitely a benefit. One cool fact about a locking cover is for whatever reason, if the cops pull you over and they wanna search it and it's locked, they actually have to get a search warrant to get inside the bed cover. So with this being the most expensive cover, starting price is around $2,250. Now there are a couple of different add-ons you can do to all three of these covers. You can get a tra or the rails that actually have a T-slot in it and allow you to put, for example, a set of crossbars on and then you can put a basket, rooftop tent or anything else like that. I do like these covers as an overlanding option. One downfall to all of these covers is they roll back into a canister. So you're gonna lose about roughly 12 inches of bed space up towards the front. And we'll just say it's 12 by 12. One thing these covers do have as an option is all three of them you can get in a powered version. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of the powered version because I look at it from kind of the mechanic standpoint. It's just more stuff to go wrong. One thing that all three of these covers do come with is a different style or finish. One of the examples I'll show you today does come in a vinyl or a metal. The Truck Cover USA does come in a metal version. Uh, it has two finishes. There's the kind of shiny gloss finish that is the example here in front of me or there is a matte finish. In my opinion, one of the downfalls to the Truck Cover USA in the roll and lock is time of install and ease to remove the bed cover. You need to completely disassemble the cover to pull it off the bed. Next up on our list is my number two pick, and that is the roll and lock cover. One of the things I really like about this cover is it's the more affordable of the rolling covers. It comes in starting at 1629. 
You can get this one in a couple of different finishes like I was talking about. Here is the example of the vinyl finish. This is definitely the most popular. One thing I do like is it does give it a nice clean look and it's a little bit easier to clean than something with slats or a texture to it. So when it comes to functioning with this cover, you have a little keyhole here. Remember I had mentioned about keys being kind of a concern on this one. One thing I do not like about this is it only has a small flap you, that covers the lock. So it gives water a kind of a chance to get to the lock cylinder and freeze up. Now this functions similar to the truck cover USA in the fact that you do have the clock spring back in here. So this cover does function the same. It will automatically roll back. Leading into one of the things I don't like about this cover is that to get this to reset, there's two ways to do it. Either you follow it down the side of the truck, walk it along with it. And then once when you get it to the position, you twist it back to the original and it locks into the position you want it to. Or the other option is you let it go and it hits this hole in the cover, which resets the lock. Any sort of issue you're gonna run into with the clock spring is just over time opening and closing and everything else like that, the canister will, that spring will end up breaking. I'm gonna be honest with you. But the nice thing about the clock springs is they are replaceable and that's something I have done here at Extreme and probably something that I will continue to do because honestly, it's a nice enough cover that why not go ahead and rebuild it. A cool feature of the roll lock is they do have accessory, an accessory that you can add on. It's this movable cargo management system. If you have like grocery bags or you know stuff you don't want sliding back, this is an option that you can add on. Now, is it the most sturdy thing in the world? No, but it'll get the job done as long as you're not trying to hold back, you know, bowling balls or anything kind of out of the norm like that. But for groceries, tool bags, stuff like that, it's gonna work great for you. This does have the canister lid that sits on top. Now I had mentioned that the Trek Cover USA had the four screws on the top. This one's got two on the side. You slide the cover, the canister lid up forward a little bit and then you're able to get into the canister to get all that cleaned out. Now this is more of a problem with raised up canister lid is leaves and debris and stuff like that especially if you don't have the cover closed all the way will work its way into the canister. So cleaning out the canister is more common on this style of rolling cover. I would say this is both a benefit and a negative. The benefit being that you're able to get into the canister easier. The downfall is more debris, dirt, seed pods, all that stuff will get into the cover over time. Now on the Truck Cover USA, we did have four drain tubes. There, there was two at the front and two at the back. On the Roll and Lock itself and the Retracts, there's only two drain tubes and they're anywhere from half an inch to three quarters of an inch. So that, to me, that's a huge benefit. I don't like punching a bunch of holes in my vehicle, in people's vehicles. That is where you're gonna start getting rust. Now there are things you can do like painting the exposed metal and stuff like that. And it's not really as much of a problem on a lot of these truck beds that are switching over to aluminum. But I just do want to make you guys aware of that. One of the things that I do not like about the roll lock, the way you have to shim the rails is not exactly the easiest. Uh, once when we get to retracts, I'll show you how they do it. To me, it's ingenious, but just keep that in mind because if you don't get these shimmed right, the cover going down the road and whatnot will open. Now it's an easy fix and it's not the end of the world if you have this happen to you. You just need to take them and shim them in a little bit. Now I did mention that there are a couple of different styles of finishes. There is the vinyl option and there also is a metal option. So depending on if you don't like this vinyl or you're concerned about getting a cut or if you're gonna be setting some stuff on top of this bed cover. Now, you don't wanna set anything that's too heavy on these, but if it's something that's possibly sharp or anything like that, the downfall to having this is you can actually puncture the vinyl and then that can cause leaking issues and stuff like that down the road. Now we're moving on to what is my personally my favorite of the three options and my number one pick, and that is the Retrax Pro MX. And I'm gonna be very specific about this. Retrax does offer other finishes and other styles of cover. They do have plastic versions. I don't recommend it out anywhere that it's gonna get cold because they are easy to puncture and break. 
so I try not to sell them. The other is, is their shiny finish. I'm telling you, if you give this thing a mean look, it is going to scratch and scuff and not look as pretty as the day that you bought it. So keep that in mind. That's why I personally like this matte finish aluminum version better. Now let me get into the reason why this is one of my favorite covers. That is the simplicity of this cover. There's no clock spring back in here that pulls the cover back so it's all manual. You could consider that a plus or a minus. I consider it a plus because it's less things to break, less problems to have. Now this does have a key on here. The newer, this is an older version of the cover. The newer ones do have a plastic flap that covers up the keyhole because they have learned that these locks will freeze, as I had mentioned earlier. The way this cover functions is you unlock it and you hit this little button right here. What that does, what that allows you to do is to pull this cover back. Now, the nice thing about the retracts is you can stop this in any position down the rail you want. All you do is close the lock and it is locked. Now, when you roll it all the way up in front, it does have a bar that the lock that sits behind the lock and that keeps somebody from prying into it. Now, if you have it like halfway open, it's pretty easy to push it back. Now, is it gonna slide when you're driving around or anything else like that? No, because it does bite into the rail a little bit. This is also a really good time for me to show you what I was talking about with the T-channel rails. So this is the basic rail that comes with the retracks. I personally, like the T-channel rails that all of them have. The reason being is you can get these cool pieces from Rhino Rack right here. What it allows you to do is put those crossbars as crossbars on, as I had mentioned. So what that crossbar basically looks like is this piece right here. And this is just a portion or a sample I have. So what it allows you to do is put these crossbars on and then you can mount any sort of cargo, two by fours, whatever you need to this that you may not be able to set into the bed. You can also put rooftop tents. So if you're looking at building an overlander, like I had said, this is a great option for you. Now with this retrax, because it's not in the center of the cover, you do have this. So if you do put a set of these crossbars on it, you do want to keep in mind that this does end up coming pretty close to here. So don't have your hand on top. It will pinch you. But you just move your hand around it and it opens up real nice and easy. As you can tell, way, the way the canister is set up on this one is it's flush. Now the thing I like about the flush canister is that if you have any leaves or anything else like that, there's not really any sort of gap for that stuff to get into. You'll just wanna make sure you brush all the stuff off and then you're good to open it. Now when you open it, it does leave a gap. So if you're rolling around in the fall or whatever and you have it slightly open, it does leave a gap for stuff to get in there. To be able to clean out this canister, you need to undo the clamps and you can do one of two things. You can either slide it forward enough on the truck, you undo these two little tiny Allens here. Now, I'm not a fan of Allens. They tend to strip out. Not exactly the best design. I wish they would have done more of like a Torx bit or something that gives you more surface area for your bit to bite and makes it less likely to strip out. But once when you do that, it just slides back, allows you access into the canister so you can clean it out. Or on this one, you can actually have it closed, climb up into the truck bed, and reach up behind the canister and scrape all the stuff out. A huge benefit to this cover, and another reason why I really like it, is you, if you ever need your full truck bed for whatever reason, you undo four to six clamps, you have either your neighbor or your buddy come over, and you guys just pick it up out of the bed and set it to the side. Same thing with the installation. Once when you get everything assembled, you set it into the bed, basically make sure your rear gap by the tailgate's good to go, and then you strap it down. Now there is shimming involved when it does come to this cover. It's very rare because Retrax sets them up from the factory that you actually need to shim these rails. The thing I really like about this design is if you peek in here, which I don't think my display unit has, there's these little, what I call grub screws. And what you do is you tighten them down and then it's basically set it and forget it. So once when you have it adjusted and you pull it out, there's no readjusting it or anything like that after that. Another big benefit that I really like about Retrax is they do carry a lifetime warranty. The other two covers that I had mentioned carry a five-year warranty, but 
one thing I really like about all these companies is they stand behind their product. Their warranty process is very simple, especially if you guys buy this cover here from us at Extreme, we handle all that shenanigans for you. You don't have to get into dealing with the covers, the companies, the serial numbers, all that. We've got you covered. Cool thing that this Retrax does that the other one doesn't is it actually has roller bearings, which you, on our display you can actually see. They keep the cover functioning even if there's dirt and stuff in the track. There's no, they don't wear out nearly as fast. One thing I do mention to customers is to keep your lifetime warranty, you do not want to lubricate these rails. Now the Pro MX series, like I said, it's really my favorite rolling cover and it's the only version of the Retrax that I personally would put on my truck. Comes in starting at 2079. So this comes in in the middle price range, which I would say for the quality of cover and everything that you're getting is definitely a benefit. Now, is it as cheap as the rolling lock? No but to me, it's worth it. So that's it when it comes to these bed covers, guys. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll catch you on the next one.